Hi, I'm Kat. I'm Sophia. And we're in our Allure beauty closets <laughs> to talk to you about the biggest trend of spring and summer. Without a doubt, it is purple. Purple nail polish, purple eyeshadow, eyeshadow. purple lipstick. If you're gonna wear one color on your face or on your hands, wear purple. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. So the biggest trend in nail polish this season was without a doubt magenta. Every single nail polish collection, Essie, Topshop, Sally Hansen, everyone had this color in their collection. Mm -hmm. And it's a great transition color from winter to spring or spring to summer because it's kind of moody but it's also bright. The way they set up the brush, it's the short study here I can show you, it makes painting your nails at home so easy. A lot easier, yeah. And then of course lips. If you saw Jennifer Hudson at the Oscars, yes. so many celebrities have been wearing Tracy these. Ellis Ross. Ugh, it looks so good. Like there's something about purple and you know last summer it was all about the orange lipstick. I feel like this mm -hmm. summer it's gonna be all about the purple. Yeah, you're probably like purple, dark for summer, but you know what? It actually it works. There's something really cool about it. Yeah. Um, you know, if you wear it with a fresh face, tinted moisturizer, some bronzer, a little mascara, keeping everything else really light. Yeah. Yeah. A dark shade like this can work no matter what time of year it is. Wearing so. it with like an all white outfit, like yeah. some gold hoops, it just looks really, really chic, but you wanna make sure that you put it on really exactly. So using a lip brush is key if you're yeah. gonna do like a perfect purple lip. If you wanna do something a little bit more diffused, you can start in the center of your lip and tap it out. Yeah. Just make sure you really tap it out or it's gonna look like you have red wine. Yeah, out. yeah, and you can just see what I did here. You can either go as dark and burgundy as this, or a little bit more on the pinky side if that's what you want. You can honestly just stick your, put your other finger and then just go like this. And it's as easy as that, but again, that's for another effect. Couldn't be easier. And then I know you went backstage at all the shows this season, mm -hmm. so, and everyone did purple eyeshadow. Yeah! This Clos de Peau palette actually was used at Vera Wang, which was really cool. Um, the one thing to remember with a color like this is you don't want to put it underneath your eyes. Um, you can tend to look like an extra from The Walking Dead. Right. It can highlight dark shadows, whether yeah. you have them or not. Even if you don't have them, you'll put it on, you'll be like, uh, where did those come from? Right. Um, but uh, I especially like, I like shadow sticks. I don't know about you. They're so easy. Yeah. You just toss them in your beach bag, apply it throughout the day, yeah. use it as a liner, smudge it out. Yeah, yeah, so Clinique Chubby Stick, you know, that one is easier for shadow. This Laura Mercy, you can get a line, which is nice. Um, and then if you want to diffuse it, you just smudge it with a finger or a brush. Yeah, I especially love purple using it for green or hazel eyes. It really mm -hmm. helps bring out the color in your eyes. So I actually use purple liner today. Mm -hmm. You can barely even tell because it's like a really good yeah. neutral. So. Yeah, and if you can find, you know, there's a lot of colored mascaras out there now can have the same effect. You can put actually black on and then layer purple on top so it doesn't look so purpley. Yeah. But it is a cool effect, so. So these are all of our favorite purple products. If you have any purple products you're dying to try or you want us to try, <laughs> um, comment below, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll, we'll maybe cover them in the future. Yeah. And um, tag us on Instagram, Twitter, all and, that stuff. Yeah, and thank you for watching. Bye.